Hello and welcome to the end of week 50 of the Jeff Galloway Run Walk Run Marathon training program. Yes, I'm a marathoner and this is my edition. Well, I'm talking to you from the studio today because it was just too hot outside to really record video. When we got up at 3.30 in the morning, it was 74 degrees and by the end of our run, it was 99 degrees, a real brain baker. So let me tell you about that run. It was a 21 mile run today. Started out just fine, a little bit warm, but uh, by the time we got up to about 12 miles, uh, it was creeping up past 80 and towards 90. And that was not a pleasant experience. Summer running is something completely different. And don't expect to be out there turning great times in the summer. For those long runs when it's warm, you're just talking about doing the distance. And I did something that uh, I haven't done before on a long run. And that was I stopped by Circle K and grabbed myself a slushy and drank that down to drop my core temperature as much as I could because even refilling water bottles out on the run, it didn't take but a few minutes before those bottles reached a temperature that was almost undrinkable. So we got uh, our hydration in, and along with that, we made sure that we uh, dumped a lot of water all over ourselves, and uh, boy, it didn't take long for that water to evaporate, but that uh, evaporation effect does help your cooling quite a bit and then grabbing something cold to drink was uh, another plus on that run can't say it was the fastest run in fact it was the slowest run that i have ever done but 21 miles finishing before the century mark uh, was quite an accomplishment sometimes it's just about the distance it's not about the speed so when you're out there running make sure you have a contingency plan and i already had that plan in place i keep a 20 dollars bill uh, tucked away inside one of my empty pouches. Some people like to carry a credit card or a debit card. I don't like to do that because if you lose your belt, um, 20 bucks, I'm not going to cry too much over. But uh, if I lost a credit card or a debit card, <clears throat> that could be uh, disastrous. So just make sure you have money in case you need uh, transportation or you need to stop in and get something cold to drink. <clears throat> and you can see it didn't help... Uh, my voice any but uh, we got through that and uh, all I can say is well you could start a lot uh, earlier in the morning or later in the evening as the case may be and uh, run uh, Jeff says uh, the Texas Galloway group start as uh, early as two o'clock in the morning uh, during the summer uh, but yeah, you can do what you got to do sometimes. If you're out there and it's warm, slow it down. Slow it way down. Remember, that's one minute per mile for every 10 degrees above 60. So we were talking about adding four minutes per mile on top of our time uh, at the end just to bring it in. That's not a whole lot uh, over walking speed, but you do what you got to do to keep yourself healthy. Got through that 21 horrid miles in great shape. A uh, little bit sore in one of my calves from where the form started falling apart when it was very hot. But uh, no worse for wear, no problem with heat disease. Uh, just really tired from uh, all of that running. So if you're out there in the summer months and it's hot, be careful. Make sure you plan. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you find ways to stay cool. Because if you don't do it, you're going to run into trouble. If you do have a plan, you'll be out there running. And if you're out there running, then that means that I'll be seeing you a little farther down the road.